In this video you will learn how to work with styles in Angular and what are pros and cons there. Hi, I am Alexander Kohirhin from Monster Lessons Academy, where I am teaching you how to become a developer or improve your skills of being a developer in learning by doing way. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and I will link everything that I am mentioning in the description box below. And just to remind you, this video is the part of the free course Angular for Beginners. So let's jump right into it. In previous video, we fully created our users list and added add user button and remove user button. So here is how it looks like. But it looks kinda ugly without styles and would be nice to make it better. The question is how and what is the difference between just styling the HTML page and using styles in Angular. For this we need first to check on the example. First of all here in our users list we don't have the file with our styling. So basically let's create it now. I will add users list dot component dot and here we can use whatever extension we want. It can be CSS, SCSS, less, styles or whatever you want. I prefer to use SCSS here so this is why I created SCSS file. Now we need to use it inside our component. So here is our component and on the top we have template URL. Now we need to add here style URLs and this is always an array. And here we need to add our SCSS file. In the same way how we are working with template URL. So basically now we have a file which is binded to our component. Let's jump right into it and create some class. Let's say that we want here in HTML to add new class user container, which will be applied here on this div to style every element. So let's create a class dot user container and let's just write here border one pixel solid red. I will save this and let's look in the browser. When we reload the page, obviously nothing is happening because we need to apply this class to our DOM element. So here on the div I want to add class user container. So it looks exactly the same how it would look in plain HTML. When we open the browser you can see that border is applied for every element here. But the most interesting part here is when we inspect our DOM. So as you can see here we have class user container, which looks like normal. But when we check here on the right, you can see it here, we have dot user container and then a tag. So it's not user container like just global style, yet like you will write in plain CSS. It is basically a special class with attribute here. And as you can see on the left, this is exactly the attribute of our DOM element. So we have here ng content, then some unique number c18. So basically the part after ng content is the unique ID of DOM node. And as you can see, this is the same attribute in our three records. And here we have our class. And this is exactly the main difference and benefit of styling in Angular in comparison to plain HTML and CSS. Because in plain CSS we have all styles globally and then we have a problem when we want to scope these styles. For example, we have several components and we want in each of them class user container. Of course, in plain CSS they all will be global and we will have problems that uh, different styling will be applied. In Angular we don't have such problems because styles are scoped to the component. Which means if we will create user container class in our other component, then this uh, CSS won't be applied. Because there you will have another unique ID of other component. This is the main difference. And what is good for us? 
only angular things about these problems and this scoped logic and so on. For us, it looks exactly like plain class here on HTML, and then we create plain CSS. Okay, this is SCSS, but it doesn't matter in this case. We just write plain classes, and then they are all scoped, which means we don't need some strange solutions, like for example, BAM, which may be the most popular solution to avoid global styling and solve these problems. In Angular, everything is just working out of the box. So let's make our CSS a little bit nicer now and add some normal styles. So we don't want border here, but we want font size 18 pixels, then border bottom, and here will be one pixel solid gray. Then I want here padding, and it will be 10 pixels, then display flex, and justify content. And here will be space between. What I want to do with this display flex and justify content, as you can see here on the right, we have the part regarding the user name and age, and we have the part regarding remove. And what I want to do is I want to wrap, for example, in span, our main content with username and age, and then here one more span for remove. And with this code, this remove button will be on the right. So let's check it. This is how it's looking now, much better. From my opinion, here we can read at least uh, normally what is it about. On the left we have names, and this remove button we have on the right. And of course, everything is working as previously. So this is exactly how easy you can start writing styles inside Angular. But there is one more thing to know. If we will check our DOM tree here, on the Elements tab, I will make it bigger. You can see that here we have our user container. This is the each element. And in our markup, we have here input. And here on the top, you have app users list. And this is exactly the element that we didn't create by ourselves. It is the element that was automatically created by Angular when we created the component. So basically, this DOM element is our component, app users list. But the question is, okay, we created it, and sometimes we want to style it. So we don't want to create here additional div. Of course, we can create here like div and style it, but it won't work if you don't want to create additional div, and you want exactly this nesting. And there is a possibility to style this container, because Angular gives us here additional properties in a CSS or CSS, and we can write styles for this container. And for this, we need to write colon host. And inside here, we can, for example, say border one pixel solid blue, just to check. And as you can see here on page reload, you can see that here we have a blue line. And if we will inspect it, here we have this border, and this is our unique CSS. But of course it looks ugly and not like we expected, because you need to remember that this element which is created as a component is inline element, it's not block element. But almost always we want to write styling for the block element. So here we can just say display block and it will be working just like normal block element. And as you can see now, we have this nice blue border around our component without creating additional CSS and additional DOM nodes. So with this host, you can easily uh, style your component element inside CSS. In this video, you learned on the real example how to use styles inside Angular and what benefit does it have. And if Angular for Beginners is too easy for you, don't hesitate and check my advanced Angular course, which is going for 10 hours, where we are building the application from start to the end. And I will link the link in the description box below. And if you like this video and you want more content like this, don't forget to put thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in my next video.